Seems like the more people you need, the harder things get to accomplish. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hardest multiplayer achievements in video games. Good day to you. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most difficult challenges that developers gave to gamers in online and co-op modes. We're basing our picks on the outright skill required, how much each achievement relies on luck, and the time investment needed to grind out each gaming feat. Wait, who's behind me? Who's behind me? Who's I got you. Number 10, Legendary Fighter, Super Street Fighter 4. These days, old temples. Destination confirmed. With all the exciting technical gameplay of Super Street Fighter 4, going online was the ultimate way to test your abilities. The Legendary Fighter achievement encouraged plenty of competition by asking players to win 100 online matches. At its core, it takes quite a bit of time, and that's assuming you're up against fighters at your own level. Unfortunately, rage quitters won't count as a victory, and can draw out your already extended hunt. The challenge is tiresome enough that many players use friends in online boosting forums just to complete it. However you go about it though, Legendary Fighter will test your patience. Number 9. Too Legit to Quit – Titanfall Transferring control to pilot. For the online leveling system, Titanfall tasks players with getting kills using specific weapons and then starting all over again on each prestige level. Though the game allows you to skip some challenges at a cost, Too Legit to Quit demanded they hit 10th prestige without missing any of them. Titanfall encourages you to use their Forge certification system too, as certain weapon challenges can be excessively tedious, but a single such skip permanently locks you out of the achievement, which is worth an insulting zero gamer score. Considering it still takes forever to prestige while using Forges, Too Legit to Quit arguably demands too much. Number 8, The Floor is Lava, Overwatch. Wait, what are they doing? What are they waiting for? Oh, they're waiting for Floor is Lava. Group up here. Yeah. For the Floor is Lava achievement in Overwatch, you simply need to get three killing blows in one life, while wall riding as Lucio. Since Lucio's damage is pretty low, you're best off using his sound wave to get environmental kills. Unfortunately, aiming while wall riding is difficult to start, and the button combinations on controllers are even more frustrating. Luckily, you don't have to get all the kills in one wall ride, and you can jump onto a wall as enemies are falling to their death. Even with all the opportunities for sound wave kills on maps like Elios, the floor is lava is too nerve wracking. There it is! Oh yeah, boy! Number 7, Becoming Monstrous, Payday 2, Crime Wave Edition. There's no skipping or weird caveats to hitting Infamy Prestige in Payday 2, Crime Wave Edition. Just lots of grinding. The game requires you to hit the demanding 25th level Infamy, or level 2500 for the Becoming Monstrous achievement. This means tons of time playing the same heists, and hoping you get good teammates every time you use matchmaking. You need to hoard cash, secure everything on heists, and try to stay stealthy to speed things up. Though you can accelerate Becoming Monstrous with some unlimited heists, there's simply too much risk involved in securing this already drawn out achievement. Number 6, Mastermind, Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm trying to save the world for f**k's sake, man, if it'll let me. Ivan was helping the IAA, the government. Helping the government? I was trying to be the government. Grand Theft Auto 5's Mastermind achievement is certainly a challenge, but mostly because it requires so much coordination with other players. Earning Mastermind means completing the criminal Mastermind challenges for the downloadable Doomsday Heist. While completing this heist is a task in itself, you also need to do it on hard without losing any lives on setups or finales. Players have to do this as a pair, trio, and quartet, with growing amounts of coordination and luck with player lobbies. With the extensive preparation and guides needed to carry Mastermind out properly, a real heist might actually be even easier. Thank you very much. I'll be in touch. Thank this work this. Where's my assistant? Number 5. Yes, I am the real Gary. Gary's Mod. I just got the achievement, and so did you. Most achievements in Gary's Mod are smaller bonuses, meant to make events feel special rather than necessarily providing a challenge. For Yes, I am the real Gary, you have to play in a server with the game's creator, Gary Newman. 
Problem is, Gary virtually never plays his own game anymore. Unlike similar achievements which allow every player with the achievement to pass it on, you need THE Mr. Newman. Fans have stalked Gary's profile and even set up massive events around him to complete this otherwise impossible undertaking. Since all related glitches have been patched, Gary himself ironically can't get the achievement. Find him. Uh, is it Gary Happy Face? I would, yeah, that's him. Number 4. How the West Was Won Red Dead Redemption To level up in Red Dead Redemption, Rockstar Games asked players to spend more and more time in their online mode. At its base, How the West Was Won asked players to hit rank 50 by earning over 330,000 experience points. Gamers could originally replay certain hideout missions for as much as 3,000 XP at a time before a patch. After completing every other challenge, many players reported hitting 100,000 points or less. Prestiging at level 50 also unlocks the legendary achievement. How the West Was Won really just forced too much monotonous grinding into an otherwise open game. Number 3. What a long, strange trip it's been. World of Warcraft Regardless of your skill level, what a long, strange trip it's been takes longer to complete than any other achievement in World of Warcraft. This is because it requires people to play the game across eight different holiday events including Christmas and Valentine's Day. Each event also has about a dozen quests to complete, some of which are for high-level players only. At minimum, you need nine months to complete all the quests, and that's assuming you don't miss one and have to wait another year. While you get a cool mount as a reward, Blizzard acknowledges they made this achievement for hardcore players only. Number 2. Seriously 4.0 Gears of War Gears of War ditched their insane kill count, Seriously achievements for Gears of War 4, and made you complete everything else instead. Seriously 4.0 requires you to beat the campaign on Insane and then climb all the way to level 1000 online. In Horde mode, you'll have to level up each class and then max out one skill. After you complete 50 waves in Horde, you'll have to do that again on each of the other 9 maps. Unlocking all 141 ribbons requires hyper-specific scenarios in researching how to complete them. Suffice it to say, Seriously 4.0 wore down even the most hardcore players with its extreme demands. Number 1. World Champion – Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter Hitting number 1 on ranked leaderboards used to seem like a fair achievement when Advanced Warfighter first came out. People soon realized, however, that becoming top dog was reserved for a couple gamers. While the current sparse player base would theoretically make this easier, the world champions led with obscene stats. Most guides suggest cheating through multiple fake accounts to boost yourself up the ladder. Even by gaming the system, it's estimated to take 8 weeks of consistent play to reach the top. Though this may have been easy in the first weeks of release, World Champion is virtually impossible for modern gamers. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.